One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hi, Bidgets. My name is Flowering Plants today. Normally, I would look a little more presentable. I wouldn't be wearing a shirt I sleep in. I would have washed my hair, but you know what? I'm busy moving to college, and I don't give a singular sh about how I look, so you're gonna deal with that. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I like greens a little bit. Is this because I was vegan for two years? Maybe. Is it because I like Pinterest a lot? Definitely. Is it because I'm hoping that having greens in my college dorm will keep me sane? Absolutely not. What do you mean? My mom has over 50 plants in our house, and we have a whole acre outside dedicated to her garden and just like my mother i got sucked into wanting a garden myself so i have a bunch of succulents here there's some growing right behind you i'll show them in a second but i can't go to college and have my plants be in their original pot my children deserve better so post to buying plant pots. I have two gloves. I have a whole bunch of soil right below me. I have five towels on the ground. Let's give my children a new home. I'm gonna start off with the easy ones because I've never done this before. I did it in the gardens, but I'm not as delicate. And these are not only succulents, but they're my children. So I need to do this with care. This one right here is supposed to be a California sunset. It should have like a tint of red on the leaves, but I don't know why I lost it. Someone tell me why, but I have three of them and I wanted to put it in this white pot. So what I'm first gonna do is just break it up a little bit. Oh, they're falling. Oh, that was a little bit easier than I thought. To anyone who is a professional plant potter, I'm sorry if I'm doing this terribly wrong. Wow. I honestly thought they had bigger roots. This is like nothing. Maybe I can give them a smaller one. But there's three of them. No, they deserve a better home. I'm also trying to propagate right now, so I have some leaves right there. Let's just put this soil all the way in. And we're gonna push it down to make sure that it's firm. This is cactus soil, so it will drain very well. And I think these have survived at least a year, which is very good for me, because I usually kill plants. Sorry, just... It smells really bad. I have a tub of what I think to be cactus soil. The only reason I say I think is because my mother told me. And I really hope it's cactus soil because if not, <laughs> I'm gonna freak out. So I'm just gonna fill this up a little bit more. The reason why it's wet is because it just rained yesterday. There's my mom's hair, nice. And I'm pressing this all the way down. I'm hoping that the soil will dry out fast because I watered these a few days ago and I don't wanna get root rot. All right, now I'm making three holes to put my plants in. I think that looks good. I'm just gonna gently place them in. This is supposed to be a relaxing time. I'm supposed to be turning to a mature adult. I'm learning how to raise things and take care of them. There's no stress here, is there? It's so zen. I'm totally not freaking out right now. This one's bending. And I'm gonna hold you up while I just shove soil around. I really hate it when succulents bend a lot like this one. See what it's been doing? I'm trying to turn it back. Why do we keep doing that? Like, it's going this way, like- So I'm gonna have to angle it this way because the sun's coming in from this side. But you are done for now. There's already a huge mess on my table. Next up, I think I wanna do this one. I only have names for some of them, so by all means, tell me in the comments what you wanna name them. This one is a Pearl non Nuremberg, and I call it Pearl. I wonder why. She reminds me of a character from a show. So same step, we're gonna break it apart. I have a paper clip in here because I was trying to turn it a certain way. It kept wanting to fall down and I got really mad at it. Pour the soil in. Mm, it just got on my chair. Oh, it's on my leg. This is supposed to be a relaxing time with my plants. Ow, ow. Did I just get a splinter? From what? Ow, ow, ow. You know what, I'm a man of the house. I gotta get down and dirty. Let's use my hands. Please stand up straight. Please, please stand up straight. You know, I feel like you can't see the plants as well. This is definitely a better angle. You hear that? It's pretty wet down there. That's what she said. <laughs> Why is there another hair? It's just dirt, Frederick. It's just dirt. You ate this as a kid. Stop being so triggered. It's not centered. It's not centered. Hey, look, it's already leaning. Stop it. That one is done. You know what? I'm actually going to move this one because you're in the way. And I'm also going to put a towel over my legs because I feel like that is much more easier. This is called Mother of Thousands. And the thing is, this has grown for a long time, but it's dying on the bottom, mainly because it already produced its children. And I'm going to show a clip of the 50 plants it produced. On the leaves, they 
have little buds, they just keep appearing and they don't stop. Like, I really don't need this much, but they just keep producing. So I'm hoping that even though there's a bunch of dead leaves around here, once I repot it, it'll keep growing and I don't have to look at all of these broken leaves because frankly, it looks gross. But it's okay. I know you've made a lot of babies. I know mother's bodies change after they have babies. It's okay. We're not shaming you. You're still just as beautiful. When I was naming her, I was trying to think of a mother that happened to have a thousand children. Can't really think of one, but after looking at the scientific name, which is Calancholi Tiverens, I know I butchered the name, I don't care. I saw Cho, and I thought, that looks like Chloe. So, her name is Chloe. And Chloe is in a big pot, and I don't know what to do about this. This pot here is reserved for the most beautiful plant that hopefully I'll find one day. Yes, I'm bringing an empty pot to college. But since this is an original plant that I got, just like these two, I want them all in the same pot. So how am I gonna dig you out of here? Let's first get rid of all your dead leaves. I see you dropped a few more babies. Well, they're dead now. And don't complain, I have 50 I'm taking care of right now. This is a very crowded household. I definitely can't pull straight up. I'm just gonna dig you out. Oh god. Oh, oh right. How many leaves are in here? What have you been hiding from me? Why is there another hair? Oh, it's a root. <laughs> Never mind. No, this is a hair. What the f***? Fill this all the way to the top. Let me give you a little story time. I used to hate the idea of having plants. I never saw the appeal. I thought it was a waste of time. I preferred fake plants because that's all we had as a kid. But the moment my friend said, you could buy three of these for $10 at my school, I was in. That was a deal I was willing to take. I took the next step into parenthood. Okay, let's rip off all these extra leaves that you don't need. How am I gonna move this to college without it breaking off on the right? That is a battle I will fight another day. You're leaning. What are you leaning for? Third one, done. Except not that stable. I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. This has two Twilight Zone aloes. I don't have names for them, and no, I'm not gonna call them the characters from the movie. And I think this is an Aeolium. I'm really still trying to figure it out. I'm so mad. But all of these have little thorns on them. And then there's like this tiny ass plant that's barely living right there. And I really want it to be able to grow. My ex gave this to me two years ago, and I don't know how we put these in there. It makes no sense. And the Twilight Zone has duplicated itself twice. There are now five Twilight Zones. I don't need more babies. This one didn't even grow out of the plant pot at first. They were all under the fishbowl. And they have been living in this crowded home for so long. And I feel very bad as a mother and a father, because I'm a male. These two will be reserved for more succulents because they have holes at the bottom. And I'm putting on my gloves because even this one has thorns, like right where the leaves are growing. I think Fusure Frederick is gonna remember to show close-ups of this. But I'm just so confused because how do I, how do I start? My first thought was to break the fishbowl, but uh, I don't think that's the best idea ever. Hopefully you'll just let me rip it out. Yup. Like what the f is this? And there's a lot of dead leaves on this, so I need to redo that. It definitely needs to be trimmed better, but I'm gonna place it down, move you to the side, and I want to put you in this one, I think. By the way, if you can identify that plant, please tell me in the comments. And if you have any tips for keeping these succulents alive and happy, please let me know too. I only learn from the internet and trial and error, but I don't want to lose any more children because I've lost enough. Also, you are bending quite a bit. What is this foolery? Stop bending so much. I asked you to stay put. Children these days, am I right? Also, like, sometimes I forget to water this once a week, and it just stays alive. I really have not given it a good home, and I don't really see any roots here. And, like, this is still a part of the plant. I don't think this is a succulent. But how do I get this to stand straight if all it wants to do is... I'm going to dig a very big hole. All right, I basically hollowed this out. And now we're gonna slowly place soil back over it. Oh, uh, you're falling. Why do they all wanna fall on me? It just lost two leaves, oh my God. This one has gone through a lot, guys. Like, I have not treated this one well. This was prior to my love for plants, though. It only grew sideways just because it was in a freaking plant pot. Like, I know that's the reason why. But I could have stopped it many years ago. <laughs> This is not as relaxing as I was hoping to be. I swear, I just pulled out two more hairs. There's no way this is beyond repair. Like, I have to be able to save it. Okay. She's leaning a lot, but I think this is the best I can do for now. I'm gonna set it aside, and I'm also gonna do something very extra and add more soil to all of these because I didn't do it high enough. So we're gonna do this one more time for all of them real quick. Pearl's my favorite, I think. She's so beautiful. Now you, troublemaker. Oh, there's a roly poly here. Are right, you wanna hang out with these plants? That's Cool, it's cool. But if you crawl out of here and onto my bed, you're dead. This one's the most rebellious one. Rearrange it so it bends 
towards another plant. Maybe that'll fix its outlandish behavior. I promise I would not talk to my actual children like this once I'm older. But if my future children are watching this, don't test me. Back to my cactus situation. I can't tell if it's one or two plants now. And I don't remember how many there were when I originally got it. Oh my god, it's one. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I need to break some off. I, I'm sorry, I can't deal with this many plants. These all grew from one plant? You gotta be kidding me. There's also a lot of dead leaves on here, so that's ew. Ow! It just stabbed me. Let's put you in a cactus pot. Seems fitting. I'll just put this one in here for now. Oh shoot, I just broke it. I just ripped it. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm gonna get a prettier one. Oh, this is getting very messy and I forgot to put the towel over my chair, which means my chair is getting dirty again! I'm really trying to put soil in here, but it's kind of hard to put into a mug. What the f*** do I do with these ones now? First of all, I don't know if they'll grow because there's no roots on them. First I'm gonna do is see if they grow more roots, and if they do, I can give some of them to my mom and like other people. Because I don't need more of those. All that's left in here is just a bunch of rocks, and I don't really want to put a big ass rock in these plants right now. Oh, this used to be a plant. It died. I forgot about that. Natural selection, guys. So this is one plant. This is the other plant. I don't really know what it is. All I know is that it has not had a good home. So I'm also going to add these to the propagation. And I guess with all these rocks in here and random shells, I can keep the fishbowl and just wash this all out. And whichever rocks I recover, I'll place them around, I guess. Shoot. I should have put gravel on the bottom, right? Whatever, if they survived without the gravel, I don't think they need more. There's only one last plant I need to pot, and it's one of my mom's. I don't know what it's called, but she has this one, and there's a little baby one right here. Oh my god, how many roots do you have? That's some of them. The rest are down there. I mean, she won't know what happens to that plant in college. If it dies, we won't tell her. But I think this one looks so beautiful. Like, it's just so intricate and honestly, Asian looking. So I'm gonna put it right on the panda one. Doesn't that seem fitting? I don't know how I'm gonna clean up this room, guys. All right, these are all my plants, guys. I'm gonna take a brush and just get rid of all of the dirt real quick. That'll take like an hour probably, so I'll be back. I gotta make sure my babies are clean. So I'll be doing this for an hour. Much later. Okay, so Frederick is an idiot and decided to not record using his mic. So this is all basically lost footage. But honestly, this was the end of the video anyways, because all I did was just clean the plants. And as you can see, everything looks spiffy and they're ready for the move. Knowing me, I'm probably gonna turn into an 18 year old plant lady. Sorry, Jenna Marbles. Seriously though, I have an addiction for plants now, but that's gonna be the end of the video. So if you enjoyed give it a like leave a comment down below name one of my plants please or help me identify the rest and subscribe for more below average videos i want to give a quick shout out to kylie who sent me a letter over my p.o box link is in the description by the way but i did not respond to it only because my mom threw out the freaking address but just want you to know i did receive it so thank you for the letter and as much as i would like to read a coming out story i don't feel right doing it over a voiceover i feel like it deserves to be said in person so i'm gonna save it for the next video but as always I love you guys and everything is less than three.